Do you have pets? I do have pets. So you think enslaving animals is okay? Oh god. Fruit or a banana split? <laughs> Uh, banana split. I hope you are aware that animals had to die to satiate your hunger. Oh no. I'm sorry. I was promised a fun elevator ride with a cute anime girl and Windows is trying to protect my PC from that. Windows, don't tell me how to live my life. Want to ride the elevator with the cute anime girl, okay? There she is. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the elevator. We have some calming elevator music and a cute anime girl, which was promised on the video game website. And uh, that's about all I know, except that it was in the horror category and that's why my backlighting is red. <laughs> this is definitely not an elevator to hell. We're just gonna have a nice pleasant conversation. <laughs> and I think she's just gonna ask me some questions, get to know me. Definitely not anything sinister going on. <laughs> nice to meet you, stranger. Hi. Oh, let me welcome you to the elevator. I'm the elevator girl. I'll be your assistant for today. Hello, elevator girl. Before anything else, I'll advise you to keep your hands away from the walls and to not move around too much. Why? <laughs> the company won't pay for any injuries that might occur on the way down, so please be careful. Oh god, thought we were just in an elevator. In the past, we've had issues with lost limbs stuck in the mechanisms. Not a pretty sight, as you'd imagine. Also very expensive to clean up. But don't worry, if you stand perfectly still, the chances of something going wrong are less than 50%. All right, I like those odds. Now please don't be impatient. Dear stranger, this is a very long trip down. We're going to hell, aren't we? I called it, called it from the beginning. Let's take this chance to get to know each other. I'll let you know once we are near our first stop. There's still a long way to go. So for now, please relax and enjoy my company. The elevator. I'm enjoying your company. Kind of bored. Never mind. I hate your company. Oh. Where are we going? Please don't be impatient. There's still a long way to go. I just, I just want to know where we're going. Where are we going? <laughs> Should I just be impatient? I want to see what happens if I'm impatient. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? 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 No. Are we there yet? Are we there? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? Oh. We've arrived to our first stop, negative one. We are going underground. <laughs> She's gonna kill me for bothering her, isn't she? Oh, hey, what's up, bro? No getting ahead, take your ticket and wait. We call this floor the waiting room. People that don't have the patience to endure the trip down are left here. They spent a long time here waiting for something or perhaps waiting for nothing at all. Oh God. This is hell, isn't it? We're going, you're deciding where my placement is in hell. <laughs> Yo, bro, I've been here for a long time waiting for, w wait, what was I waiting for? Hmm, actually, I think the old man could use some company over there. <gasps> no, no, I'll be patient, I'll be patient. You'll just complain all the way down, won't you? No, I won't, I won't, I swear I won't. I don't have time for impatient whiners, no, no. So now, please. Will you get off my elevator? Oh no, wait, no, no, I take it back, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, it was annoying. Uh oh. <laughs> all right, well, I guess this is where I'm spending all of eternity. Let's see how it, how it pans out for me. You left the elevator and entered the waiting room. The old man and the other people there made the waiting more bearable for you. You talked to them all the time while you waited and waited. In due time, you called them friends. Oh, this isn't so bad. But eventually you ran out of topics to discuss with them. So you silently waited and waited. Sometimes you'd hear the elevator pass by, occasionally even stop with visitors. In rare occasions, someone would leave the elevator and join the waiting room. But eventually, you also lost interest in the new arrivals. At some point, you forgot that you ever rode that elevator. At some point, you forgot what you were waiting for. Did you even know what it was to begin with? It didn't matter anymore. You just kept waiting and waiting and waiting some more. End one. Oh my god. That sounds like torture. I mean, I guess that's the point. Pretty sure this entire game is just taking us through hell and deciding where my eternal torture will be. Great. That's why Windows was trying to protect me. <laughs> okay, so this time I'm just going to be silent and patient and jam out to this awesome elevator music. This is me being silent and patient. Please don't leave me in the waiting room. Oh, thank God, okay, we passed. Well, I don't think this is your stop. So let's keep going deeper and deeper, shall we? Oh, good, we we passed the waiting area. Our next stop is still a few minutes away. Do you wanna chat for a bit? I was reading a story earlier. You probably heard about it. It's a fairly popular one. The tale of the tortoise and the hare. Quite the story, don't you think? It's easy to draw parallels to real life. There are many hares and tortoises out there. 
Now tell me, stranger, would you consider yourself a hero towards- Oh no. So I think every time- every decision I make decides where I go in hell. <laughs> I'm definitely the tortoise, like slow and steady. <laughs> the tortoise, huh? The story was constructed in such a way to make the tortoise appear to be the hero. But I disagree with- oh no. <laughs> But I disagree with that notion. The tortoise is just as bad as the hare. If you are hardworking, you'll put in the effort to always be on top. You wouldn't let yourself go so much that you become the laughing stock of everyone else. Furthermore, the tortoise's victory was a fluke that relied on the hare's incompetence, not the tortoise's effort. They are both incredibly lazy. Well, hare or tortoise, it doesn't matter. I'm sure our next floor will be of interest to you. Oh no. Please don't leave me. Negative 13. Ooh. Oh, here we are. That doesn't look good. Let me welcome you to the factory. The factory is the pride and joy of our company. We make everything here from jewelry to insulin to firearms. It's all here. All our systems are automated too. The robots handle all the work. So being one of our employees is extremely easy. I asked you about the hare and the tortoise earlier because you seemed lazy to me. Thank you. <laughs> and I think I was right. So I wanted to make you an offer. We are currently hiring and we need someone just like you. Someone to do absolutely nothing. Also, the pay is pretty good to boot. Would you be interested? I'll pass. I don't want to work for all of eternity. Even if it is easy work. <laughs> well, maybe factory work isn't for you. Yeah, factory work sounds like a terrible way to spend eternity. Maybe our next stop will be more to your liking. Oh yes, in the meantime, would you like to play a game? I guess. Here's our new slot machine prototype. It's free to play. So feel free to play it as many attempts as you want. The win condition is to get three of the same number in a row. All right. Did I win? Oh. So should I not play this a lot? Oh well. <laughs> what else am I gonna do with this elevator? Is this my eternity just losing over and over and over and over again? I'm never gonna win, am I? Oh, I forgot to mention another feature of this new prototype is that not only is it free to play, you can also never win. I don't care what you say. All right, I'm leaving. <laughs> oh, you had enough of our slot machine already? That's a shame, but oh well. We'll arrive to our next stop in a moment. You just told me I could never win it. Why would I Why would I keep torturing myself? That's what you want, isn't it? And here we are, negative 23. Oh, God. Hi. Let me welcome you to the office. So I can either be a factory worker for all eternity or we're in an office cubicle for all of eternity. Hmm. This is where our most brilliant and ambitious employees work. Well, that's not me. <laughs> As opposed to the factory, this place isn't automated, but you get paid accordingly to the amount of effort you put in. Salaries here start at 100K USD per hour. Ooh. Per hour, wait a minute. <laughs> that didn't sink in until just now. Huh, a newbie? You should definitely join us. In fact, you should work under me. Ah yes, if you enter as an apprentice of someone, your senior will get a portion of your income in exchange for mentorship. I work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Okay, never mind. This doesn't sound so good. I also have over 250 apprentices. I'm probably one of the richest people in the world right now. Coo -coo -coo. But that's not enough. I need more. So join me. You won't regret it. Please don't be so pushy with the stranger. Shut up, elevator girl. You'll see. In no time, you'll work for me too. I'll own you and your stupid elevator. Just you wait and see. We'll see about that. Didn't even give me the option. That she's like, you don't, you don't want to work for her. Trust me. Well, I wouldn't think the stranger would be a good fit for this floor anyway. Let's keep going deeper. We should chat for a bit while we get to the next destination. Sure. What do you think of this descent thus far? I hope you are having a good time. I mean, look at me. I'm jamming. <laughs> After the last stop, you'll surely wish to go back into the elevator. That's for sure. Hee <laughs> hee. Never mind that. But it's all good. The company really appreciates people like you. Even more so, you're exactly what we were looking for. I've been working here for over 50 years, so I know what I'm talking about. When I see someone with big potential, I can identify so immediately. Are you saying I'm special? Ooh, negative 69. What's on this floor? Naughty things. And we finally arrived to our next stop. This floor is... Actually, let's skip this floor, shall we? Oh no, I want to see the naughty floor. What's on the naughty floor? Boo. You must be hungry right now, right? We happen to have a full course meal service at this elevator, so feel free to eat whatever you want. Ooh. Please choose what dish you'd like to eat. Okay, does this is this decision important? <laughs> this kind of looks like a miso soup, which I really like. <laughs> I'm not a big beef stew person. Let's go with the tofu. I see, good choice. Now for the main course, a salad or a pork chop. 
I don't want either of those. This really is hell. <laughs> I guess a salad. She's gonna say that I'm trying to eat healthier. So I don't know. I'm gonna, it's gonna screw it up somehow, but I'm, I'm gonna say salad. I'm not a big pork chop person. Another good choice. Finally, please choose your dessert. Fruit or a banana split? <laughs> uh, banana split. All right, now please enjoy your meal. Thank you. I hope that was tasty. I can't help but notice you selected some dishes that contained animal products. Uh-oh. I hope you are aware that animals had to die to satiate your hunger. Oh no, sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, I chose a salad and tofu. So the only thing I chose was the ice cream. That was the only like non-vegan thing, but that was, it was all vegetarian. I did, I picked okay. I was in between. If you are the type of person that enjoys inflicting pain upon creatures you deem inferior to you, that'd be very unfortunate. But I'm sure you're very aware of the death all around you, right? You only eat other creatures to survive, not for pleasure, am I right? Well, but enough about food. Let's chat a bit more. There's still a long way down. A question, do you have pets? Uh, I do have pets. I see. So you think enslaving animals is okay? Noted. <laughs> oh god. I'm not- uh, This is not gonna go well for me. But Dexter loves me. <laughs> hmm, next question. Imagine you were on a deserted island with a starving old man and a cute puppy. Oh god, why are these questions getting so rough? You just had a full course meal and had one apple left. Why did I have the full course meal and I didn't share it with anybody? Would you give the apple to the old man or the cute puppy? I'd eat the apple. Well, I don't think the apple's gonna do much for the dog. I got the old man, I don't know. <laughs> I see. Next scenario, you are stranded on a mountain in winter with your kitten. At this rate, you'll be the first one to die. If your kitten eats your remains, it might survive. Do you accept death in this case? Or would you kill your cute kitten for food? Oh God, <laughs> I'd accept death. I mean, if we're trapped in a cabin in winter, even if the cat ate, oh, I guess the cat could survive on just eating, if it was a kitten, just eating me all winter. This is a weird, I don't know the cat, so I'll eat it. <laughs> I don't know, it's not my cat. I see. Final question. Uh-oh. Would you give up your tongue in exchange for leaving this elevator? No. No, I'm good. I like being in this elevator with you. Understandable. Whoa, we went really far. Oh, we have arrived. This floor. Ugh. Let me welcome you to the kitchen. Uh-oh. <laughs> They're so cute. Uh. Here, our employees work hard to provide food for everyone in the company. Oh my god. Killing animals for all of eternity for food? Hmm. That visitor looks very tasty. Oh, never mind. I think they'll just try to eat me for all of eternity. I'm in pain. Why don't you join the kitchen? We have nice food here. I'm in pain. Yeah, this kitchen is very nice and look, I won't sugarcoat it. The food comes from them, right? I'm in pain. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? Come on, just a bite, it won't hurt. Oh, thank God you're not gonna leave me there. Mm, no, you aren't deserving of the kitchen. People like you deserve to go even deeper. So is it bad to go deeper? <laughs> I feel like each choice, each option I've had got worse and worse and worse. Shall we continue, stranger? So I'm guessing I'm not doing well. As I said before, our company really likes having people like you on board. I wouldn't let you go to waste. Where are you bringing me? Oh my God, we're going really deep. Uh, it's never pleasant to come to this one. Oh, I'm scared. Here's a floor, I guess. Oh, there's faces in there. Let me welcome you to the prison. Here, we bring people that have issues with interpersonal relationships. The people here fail at basic human interaction, so please be careful. Oh, God. Don't believe any of her lies, stranger. I know the truth about this place. She won't let you out. She'll keep torturing you until she becomes bored of it. This floor is not a prison. This is where she puts her broken toys. If you leave now, you'll avoid becoming a freak like us. You'll have much more luck finding a way out as a normal human. So let's trade places. Well, everything he said is a lie, except for that last part. It is possible to trade your place in the elevator with one of our employees. The people in other floors would never give up their jobs, but the troublemakers here are different. Lies, lies, all lies. You have to trust me, stranger. I don't want what happened to me to happen to you. If I'm in the elevator, I can get revenge on her. And you, you can get away from her. It's win-win. If you're done here, I think it's time to leave this place now. Just trade places with me. Uh... <laughs> 
Nah, I've come this far. I want to keep going. Stay in the elevator. You fool. Have you not seen what she really is? Oh, I knew it. No, I saw what she was. I knew we were going to hell. She's a demon. Fantastic. I'll assume you've already figured it out. That's right. You're already dead. Right now, we are going deeper and deeper into the layers of hell. I'm trying to find which one is most appropriate for you. Our next stop is very special. Maybe you'll even find it a bit familiar. I knew we were going to negative 666. Here we are. This is our last stop. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> but I was a good person! Let me welcome you to hell. That's right, just hell. Every floor we visited thus far is also part of hell. This one, however, is very special. You could call it the Christian hell or the movie hell. Basically, what you'd imagine when thinking of this place. Lava, sulfur, agony, all the good stuff. This floor is sort of a VIP lounge. All our most distinguished guests stay here. Ooh! <laughs> Yay me! Adolf, Walt, the Kims, even the failed clones, Mr. Jobs, the gang's all here. Do you think you have the pedigree to join such a select group of evil? Well, I think... <gasps> I knew you liked me, that you don't deserve to be here. You're actually way worse than everyone on this floor, you make me sick. What did I do? Is it because I'm a YouTuber? <laughs> Damn it, I knew it was a bad idea to sell my soul to be a famous YouTuber. We are going at full speed to the very bottom of hell. That's the only place where you deserve to be. Deeper and deeper and deeper we go. To the very bottom of hell, to the last layer of damnation we go. Here we are. Oh wait, we're at zero though. We've gone so deep that we somehow returned to the starting point. Don't ask me how it works, I don't know either. <laughs> Now this is the last layer of hell. Uh, what? Let me welcome you to Earth. <laughs> okay. That's right, this door leads to the worst possible outcome of them all. You'll be reborn and have to go through an entire lifetime in that horrible world of yours. <laughs> oh my Satan, I'm surely glad not to be in your shoes right now. Now please, get out of my elevator and go be a stinky baby. See you in 80 years or so, bye bye. End eight. Oh my god. I only got two endings? Uh, what? What? <laughs> so I just went through and tried to find what the other endings were. Most of them are just making decisions that get you off on each floor, but then you just get that text ending. So I'll link a video in the description of someone who got all of the endings so you can see if you're interested. But I'm just gonna leave this as my ending. <laughs> like playing through for the first time what ending I ended up getting. And if you wanna see all the other options, uh, you can go watch their video. But as always, if you made it this far in the video, make sure to leave a like before you go. And also, if you're looking for something else to watch, why not check out one of these videos? There's also a subscribe button over there. It's totally free and easy to click. I mean, I did sell my soul to become a popular YouTuber. So it's the least that you could do to help support that dream because I'm going to be going to hell now, apparently. And as always, I will see you guys soon.